Hi, this is Dr. Tish from Recharge Clinic. It's Tuesday night, um, September 20th. I wanted to give you guys an update. Last week, um, I made a video talking about how we were not able to get monoclonal antibodies um, to treat people with acute COVID infections. And we had gotten an email as well as some letters from um, HHS saying that they were taking over the ordering process from Regeneron and they were gonna make it so that we would order from them directly. Um, that happened on Tuesday and they said if we placed our orders, they would have a very quick turnaround time. Previously, when we ordered these monoclonal antibodies from Regeneron, we received them in 24 to 48 hours. They were shipped out immediately, whatever quantity we wanted. And like I said before, we've treated hundreds and hundreds of people with this with great response. Since then, basically we submitted our order to them and they've gone completely dark. We have not heard anything from them. We've tried to reach out a hundred times saying, listen, where are our antibodies? So why is this a problem? It's not just a problem because they're not sending recharge clinic the antibodies. They're sending no one antibodies in Florida. We spoke to two large healthcare institutions in Ocala. One's a hospital and one's a big care giver here. And their orders have been the same. They have a couple on stock and that's it. They are not able to get any more. They don't know what's going on. They're in hopeful as we are that they will be shipped. This is a huge problem because really throughout the whole state, they're cutting down our supplies. Um, this is not for any healthcare reason. This is not for any lack of uh, supply. I mean, we've heard from Regeneron that they've got huge quantities of this product ready to be shipped. So basically it's all, in my opinion, and what it seems to be is a political issue um, that we are not being shipped these things. And you can see that um, another state is being targeted too, Texas. Um, thank God the governor has tried to reach out to Regeneron and try to order these things directly for us. We're still waiting on that. I've reached out to everyone I could, um, Congress people, all kinds of people to try and do, people at the health department to try and get this um, pushed along so we can get back treating people. Remember, I have no vested interest in this. I don't care if people are vaccinated or unvaccinated. I want to take care of everyone that is sick that has this problem because right now, it's almost even the people who've been vaccinated and unvaccinated are getting this Delta variant. Probably the reason is people who've been vaccinated now, they're starting to have some waning of their immunity, which means it's starting to go down now, so they're becoming more susceptible. Hopefully they won't get as sick, but we don't know. We still want to treat everyone because we don't know. And so we still at Recharge Clinic have some treatments that are available to people that we were implementing before the antibodies and that we're going to continue to do now to, to help people get better. Listen, we're here to take care of everyone in Ocala. We treat everyone like they're our family because really we are all one big family here. Vaccinated, unvaccinated, I don't care about any of that kind of stuff. I want us all to be well to get to the other side and we will at some point. But until that time, we have to dig our heels in and fight like heck. And if you can make any noise about this and help, I would appreciate it. Um, the other thing I wanna remind people is this disease or this infection, really responds better when people get treated early. And we've seen that long, you know, all along. The people that come in quicker, whether they got the antibodies, whether they got medications, do better and they don't get as sick. So we had seen a trend where people were coming in quicker. Today um, and uh, on Friday, we've seen some people that have been letting themselves go for a week or two weeks and they come in and they're very sick, very short of breath, trouble, having trouble breathing. And so, yeah, we can fight aggressively to turn them around, but these are the ones that are higher risk. We don't like to see people that way. We don't like people seeing struggling to have to send them to the ER. No one wants to go to the ER. We know that the hospitals are overwhelmed. So sending the people there is not a great option. So I, I wanna remind everyone that there's treatment still available. Contact your providers, the ones that will take care of this and treat them and, and try and get help, but also you know, stay ahead of it. Get treated early. Do not hide. Don't think it's just a simple cold that's gonna go away. You know, if by the chance you get over-treated for this and you look back and say, huh, I probably didn't need that, great. We can all look back at it and laugh. But it's better that way than looking back and saying, wow, I should have done something earlier. This is horrible. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update about what's going on. Um, I'm pretty upset, literally kind of pissed off about it because they're really messing with us now. Um, it's not about supply and demand. It's just that all about politics and spiting people and really spiting us here. Um, which is stupid. Anyway, I want everyone to be well, get treated early, and like I said, we'll get through this together.